Hi everyone, back again with another video which cover how to build a TCP scanner. Before we get started, we need to understand the TCP handshake, actually how TCP communication works. So let's get started. Alright, for those who need a refresher, let's review the basics. The following figures show how TCP uses a handshake process when querying a port to determine whether the port is open, closed or filtered. If the port is open, a three-way handshake takes place. First, the client sends a sync package, uh, which signals the beginning of a communication. The server then responds with sync acknowledgement. The transfer of data can then occur. If the port is closed, the server responds with a RST package instead of a sync acknowledgement. If the traffic is being filtered by a firewall, the client typically receives no response from the server. These responses are important to understand when writing network-based tools. To make the scan operation too fast, we need to scan multiple ports concurrently. To do this, we are going to explore the power of GoRoutines. The simplest way to create a port scanner that runs concurrently is to wrap the call to the fa to dial function in a GoRoutine. Okay. What's the dial function stands for? If you try to access to Golan documentation, the dial function connects to the address on the named network. This function takes two arguments. The first is a string that identifies the kind of connection to initiate. This is because the dial function is not just for TCP. It can be used for creating connection that use Unix circuit, UDP, etc. The second argument tells dial to, uh, the host uh, to which you wish to connect. This string will take the, uh, the form of host colon port, as you see is taken as argument from the user's command line. Now you know how to create a connection, but how you will know if the connection is successful or not? You will do this through error checking. Dial function returns connection and error, and error will be null if the connection is successful. To avoid the problem of coroutine synchronization, because the code will launch a single coroutine per connection, and the main coroutine doesn't know to wait for the connection to take place, we need to use wait group utility from the sync package, which is a, which is a thread safe way to control concurrency. As you see, I create a wait group variable, which is acts as a synchronized counter. Then, then incrementing this counter each time I create a goroutine to scan a port. And a different call to done function decrements the counter whenever uh, one unit of work has been performed. Finally, the main function calls wait, uh, which blocks until the work has been done. And the counter has returned to zero. Running this code, for example, we give scanme.org.nmap.org as address to the program. This is a free service provided by nmap project, but when you are scanning, be polite. Don't scan too much times in a day. As you see, the code print out a list of open ports on the server. I hope you are now able to customize this example and add in more complex features. If you can, let me, if you can, let me know in the comment section below about your future improvement. Thanks for watching. See you next time.